are again inside of another Paradigm Shift London meeting. Say hello to the internet, it's Paradigm Shift London. <laughs> All right, so again, this is another opportunity for us to be able to share some ideas that we practice talking about here within a Paradigm Shift community. These are topics related to metaphysical reality, just understanding lots of concepts like sacred geometry or lucid dreaming. And today, uh, we are talking about the idea of how do we know when we're on the path? And that's going to be the question that we're going to go around and what the path even means to us. So we're going to do that and of course reminding you to start up a Paradigm Shift community where you are to have regular open mind discussion meditation circles. ParadigmShiftCentral.com, listen to Paradigm Shift Radio. And uh, Cam, what does it mean or how do we know when we're on the path? I think the best way to know when we're on the path is when we can feel free to follow our heart. Nice, cool. Mm -hmm. Zeke. How do we know we're on the path? I think we know we're on the path when you get signs that seem like if they're coincidence. But I think you're on the right path as long as you're learning from the experience now to make your future nows better. And a tip to do that is to kind of be calm realize, I mean relax, realize what's around, and then respond. Cool, nice man. Ben? Hello. I wrote mine down, so I'm gonna just read it from there. When uh, confronted with choices and experiences, I reflect on both and feel through intentions what resonates through me in a creative, neutrally positive manifestation. So essentially, what feels right. Cool, Jeremy. Um, you know, I, I'm going to follow Rex's lead and make this more meaningful for myself, rather less intellectual. Um, I was going to say, um, you know, you're on your path when you uh, sense like a synchronicity, or your synchronicity sensory sense senses go off. So that's what I would say. That's it. Cool. Maya, pass. Emily. Um, I think the path is kind of a weird thing where it's hard to tell if you're on it or not and even I think Lane or Nate brought up if even if you're off the path doesn't that mean you're still on the path and it could be if you're off the path you're still on your own path and with my experience um, the path checks in with you every once in a while so it may it may feel right but then something kind of changes and you realize that now you're back on the path but even with that then that could mean that you being off the path beforehand is part of your own journey. So I would say just relax <laughs> and let it happen because it's going to be okay. Nice. Right. Um, I think that just go towards joy. and uh, But then when suffering and fear comes up to make sure to address it and find the misbeliefs, and then once they're gone, there'll be more joy and they'll be drawing again towards where you should be. Cool. <clears throat> Being on a path uh, means uh, wanting to know, know yourself. It's a very good indicator that you, you are on the path. That curiosity about yourself. Uh, you are a byproduct of the universe. Actually, and also being a friend with the silence. Having a silence on your side, it's always good because best ideas come from that place. Nice, cool. Dave. I think of the path as uh, if you can uh, visualize a sine wave, like a snake, and uh, there's a there's a center line which would be like uh, if you're in a hospital, it would be flat line. That would be the center of the sine wave. And as you go through life on your path, we are always on your path, no matter what, you don't have a choice. Um, <clears throat> you have preferences, you have desires, and you, you either push or pull. And if you want to think of that as one side of the sine wave as a positive and the other as a negative, you're either pushing something away or pulling something towards you. And uh, one creates suffering and the other creates joy and all this thought of polarity. But if you'll notice when you're flatline, when you're neutral, that that's when synchronicities happen. That's when you experience peace and uh, everything's okay no matter what. Uh, and a, a state of unconditional love. Um, so 
you know, I like to think of life as uh, reduce suffering, eliminate suffering, but then all that's left is the other side. So that's not real either. Eventually you have to let it go and just ride down the middle. Just let everything go and ride down the middle. Cool. Christian? Okay, so I've been reading a book. It's called The Astonishing Power of Emotion. It's by Esther and Jerry Hicks. Um, in it, it says that you can... A good indicator to know if you're on a path or if you're in alignment with your being is through your emotions. That being said, I'd like to read a quote that I copied just yesterday. When you feel love or joy or any positive emotion, you are literally being the expanded version that life has caused you to become. When you feel fear, anger, or despair, or any negative emotion, you are not in this moment by virtue of whatever it is that you are giving your attention to, allowing yourself to be the new expanded version. You are not letting yourself keep up with who you have become. Nice. Cool, thanks. Uh, do you guys want? Pass. Do you guys want? Feel the path is building an experience in which you don't feel the need to question it. That's good. Lane. <clears throat> Upon deep reflection, I have uncovered that it's abundantly clear that I don't really know the first thing about whether or not I'm on the path, and I find myself questioning and intellectualizing probably too much, so uh, from now on, uh, with, with your blessing, I'm pretty much just going to go guns blazing and balls deep, and if I can't find the path, I'll carve out whatever I can. And whatever <laughs> carnage and love and truth and peace and happiness and bacon I get on the way, then, then I'll, I'll take it and run. Nice, Lane. Very satirical. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nate, Nate, go ahead. For my balls shall be the carver of the path. That's so bad, Lane. Um, ultimately, I, um, I think how I define the path is first is the crossroads to realize that you have, I think, well, to put it simply, I think the path is to realize that you have ultimate free will to go wherever you, you will. And I think um, there are a multitude of uh, paths to go to the same place. So I just think ultimately the path is to realize you have absolute free will to do what you want with your life. Cool. And that's, uh, nice. That was cool, man. <laughs> Dana? Um, I think the path is just like what's moving you forward in your life and when you're aligned with that and you intuitively just feel like you understand your purpose and like go for it and things are more aligned then yeah that's when you know you're on your path cool cool all right and i'll just finish up with a couple thoughts um i think uh, i think like this whole path thing uh it's uh it's not like obviously literally just like this like one thing that is always followed. Uh, the path is um, sort of like an attitude that you carry with you into the future with the knowing that you are creating your path at any given moment. So the idea of asking like, are you on your path? Like reflect on the idea of how much are you choosing to collectively make the path that is what you are walking into, but also understanding that from the present, we're not just like tossing things blindly into the future. The future realities already exist. So when we like want to complete a project, we have to understand that it's already there. Uh, big thing for me, just as a personal, like something that you can reflect on with editing a movie. The idea is, is that by the time I'm done filming everything, I know that within that chunk of footage, the movie exists and it's just a matter of me finding it and sort of chiseling it through. And um, out of that, sort of turn that into a metaphor of like our actions and our actions being uh, the art piece that we create out of this world. So I mean, I think it's very important to ask what our path is and how much of that path really is um, us choosing to follow that which inspires us, which would be my main thing to end on, is uh, follow that which inspires you and you will be on your path. You will be on the, the exciting path that you choose to create. And uh, there's a lot more to be said. But we'll wrap it up there. So just thanking again, everybody. Say goodbye to the internet. Everybody. Awesome. All right. And uh, this uh, was sponsored by the buttons. Go to the buttons on the website. Get some buttons. Go change the world. Awesome stuff. And uh, until next time, we'll see you guys in the future. Listen to Paradigm Shift Radio. Bye. One love.